hello friends today we will discuss about the precedence graph which is one of the most important concept used in the database transaction and query processing let's start with the precedence graph what is the precedence graph it is the graph used to show the relation between transactions it is used to check the conflict serializability precedence graph is used to check the conflict serializability here we have an example of the precedence graph here you can see the three different transactions t1 t2 and t3 and there are different arrows pointing from one transaction to another transaction this is nothing but precedence graph now the question in front of us is that how to draw or how to design that precedence graph so friends it is very easy to draw a precedence graph first of all we have to follow some conditions or we have to check some conditions they are like arrowheads are from read operation to write operations as we have seen earlier in the earlier diagram of the precedence graph there are different arrows in between the transactions here the def the condition is that the arrowheads are from read operation to write operations next find read write pair such that read from one transaction and perform write operation in the another transaction so we have if we have given a schedule then in that schedule we have to check or search for the read write pair such that the transaction reads the data in one transaction and writes the data in the other transaction here is the representation of arrow it is pointing from read operation to the write operation let's discuss with one example that here you have one schedule in which you have two transactions t1 and t2 in t1 transaction it is read a then assign value of a such that a minus 50 then in t2 transaction read a temp is equals to value of a into point 0.1 then a is assigned as a minus temp then write a and after t2 completes then the transaction t1 comes and it is the write a so in this transaction first of all let's search for the read write pairs so here we have first read a in transaction t1 let's search for the write a in transaction t2 here we have the write a in transaction t2 then give an age in between transaction t1 to t2 from t1 to t2 from read to write let's draw it here we have the one graph that is from t1 to t2 arrow pointing from t1 to t2 now let's check on other conditions that whether other read and write pair available or not so yes we have another read a in transaction t2 let's search for write a in transaction t1 yes we have found write a in transaction t1 let's construct an edge in between them from t2 to t1 let's draw it here we have another graph pointing from t2 transaction to t1 transaction if there any read write pair exists in the transaction if yes then uh, do, uh, do such transactions and the graph if not then let's merge all the transaction graph which we have developed or which we have made for the single read write pair now let's merge these two, these two graphs for our this transaction after merging these two graphs we will have graph like this way where t1 and t2 are the two transaction and age exists between t1 to t2 pointing from t1 to t2 and another pointing from t2 to t1 so this is the required precedence graph so guys in this way you can you can uh, in this way you can de develop any precedence graph of any schedule which will be used to find the 
conflict serializability and there are many more the uses of that precedence graph so thank you